What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am in the process of building four more cutting boards. There's a video coming out for these, but I also had the idea of building those little wine rack kind of glass holder things um, with a bunch of off cuts. So, you know, I have all these little pieces. Gonna cut these down, plane them down, get them all glued up and, you know, cut a hole here. The wine hole there and another glass hole there and you know it'll have the wine sitting up top and the glasses will hang off the sides upside down it's a pretty cool idea i've done one before using just a piece of one by pine uh, my face is still a little swollen i had my wisdom teeth cut out maybe two three days ago um still a little sore nothing a little ibuprofen can't fix but yeah, I'm in the middle of building these four cutting boards and I got this idea. So I'm going to go ahead and get these plain down, cut up and glued up. Let them sit while I start working on the cutting boards for the rest of whatever, whatever step is next. come down the size. I'm thinking of 11 inches. These are roughly 16 inches, so let's cut them down to 11. What I was doing is I was just cutting off any imperfections, you know, like this one had gaps on one side, so did this one, this one had a gouge as well. Just cutting off the ends, bad glue ups, gouge right there, and big gap right there. That way it's less to do, and I mean, I don't need all of it, so. Okay, now that you have these cut down to 11 inches, I mean, it could be 10 inches really. I decided to go with 11 because of the glasses that we're gonna use for these. From here, all you want to do is find your center and get your line going all the way across. After you find your center line going long ways, you want to find your center line going down the middle. So we're sitting at 11 inches, so that'll be five and a half. Okay, now we have our center line going down long ways and we have our center point down the middle of the board. Next, we have to mark where we want these holes from each end of the board. I marked mine at an inch and five eighths from each end. Those, are, those holes will be for the wine glasses themselves. I already got mine marked up, so now we just gotta drill the holes out with a Forstner bit. Also use a small drill bit to go all the way through. That way I can see where it's gonna come out through and I can just flip the board and prevent tear out that way. Just going half one way and half the other way. And I use this screw or just any kind of screw. I don't have a punch to make an indention for where my drill bits go. That way they don't, you know, walk off on you. I go all the way through. That way I can see where the holes are on the other side. That'll allow me to know where to place my Forstner bit and go in half one way and then flip it over, go half in the other way to prevent tear out. So that was a one inch bit. Next bit will be one and three eighths for the center. Okay, real quick, so I forgot to show you guys 
this mark. This will be the notch that I'll be cutting out with my bandsaw. That way, you know, you're able to slide the glasses in and out. Yeah, for some reason, it just kind of went over my head until my wife told me. So. Go chamfer all the corners, all the edges. Now I just gotta do some sanding. I'll sand it to 220 and then put some oil on it, get it finished up, finish out these edges real quick. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Just gotta round over that edge real quick, get rid of some of these burn marks, and I'll be good to go. button if you would like to follow along with more beginner you know, woodworking projects that I go through. These wine bottle and glass caddies were made using scraps that I had in my garage of sapili, cherry, and maple. These scraps came from previous videos of me learning how to make cutting boards. So if you have not checked those videos out, please make sure to check them out here. These caddies were super easy to make and they made awesome Christmas gifts. They love them. I know they might have gotten a little bit on the fancy side. You can make them out of anything really. You don't have to make them out of glue up. But with them being Christmas gifts, I figured I'd make a little more. Thank you guys for watching the video. Subscribe and follow along for more beginner woodworking videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll leave those links in the description down below. Again, thank you so much guys, and I'll see you in the next one.